guys and welcome back to the model loft here on James Bonnet Photography and Models and we start this issue this New Year special so if you're watching this New Year's Day Happy New Year and if you're not have a good New Year's Eve party um, so here we can see we've added furniture inside the building of the James Bonnet Transport Group head office um, I still got to add people, but I'm not too sure whether to add people or not. Although it would finish it off a little bit better, but I do quite like it without the people in as it is. Um, it looks quite nice. The top deck, yeah, of course, it, it needed a bit more finishing off, but because the bottom's better than the top. But your eye is supposed to be on the t on the bottom floor, not the top floor, anyway. Um, so yeah, I used that Prezia kit I showed you in the last episode and I think it really does finish it off nicely. I've got some model uh, workshop stuff to come and that will be to go inside the wet, the um, building. So then that's all finished off and then I can do a proper grand unveiling of my new depot. Um, of course I've still got the background and everything to finish off at some point. So, what else is new here in the model loft this month? Well, there's some new additions here to my little model review area. My kind girlfriend bought me the VW, well, three VWs. We've got a yellow one, a white one, and a pink one. That says peace, love, and all that stuff on the side. Yeah, part there, I don't really want to take them out of the box yet, but if I do take them out, they'll be going straight back in after they've been out. Um, so, what else is new here on the layout? Other than a little bit of a change around of vehicles, uh, makes it a little bit better. I do quite like it like this for the time being. We have the brand new Oxford Diecast Vauxhall Vectra 76VV001, I think its product code is. Uh, it's a P Reg, really good model. I bought this sort of a keepsake because it reminds me of my late granddad he bought me a 143rd scale model of this exact car probably not the same plate but this is that colour uh, I've still got it somewhere it, I've got it lost somewhere probably but uh, in my collections and all the other junk uh, but yeah it reminds me of that because he was gonna he bought me the model because he was gonna buy one of these to replace his Cavalier and of course he never did, he kept his Cavalier until he was unable to drive. So, what else is new? A bit further down, we have some Skodas now on the layout, thanks to my mum at Christmas. Put this one up for it. This is a Skoda uh, Octavia. It's in a darkish blue colour an estate version it's of the new shape as well it's a really nice little model um, I forget who made it now because I took them straight out of the box as soon as I got them oh, this is on the bottom Abrex 172 scale but it fits exactly next to 176 scale vehicles as you can see there there is a different bus not a triaxle as it was in the last episode it's one of the repainted old 23 buses now in the new livery I've been getting some good feedback about that livery I do like it myself also that's new is this here the Bankman Scenecraft edition it's supposed to be a station platform information board but I've taken the leaf out of the Nottingham County Council book and um, my bus stop is now digitalised so it gives you a digital readout of when a bus is due uh, I've got a pink one there anyway of the VW which was a bit further back in the video so I've got two of that now right, so what else is new a bit further down here we have a Skoda Fabia again another new one this is in like a Rooney colour I really do like this, it's a good little model. Um, I've got a Roomster somewhere which I bought myself. 
ages ago, which you've probably seen. Again, it's the same company, 172 scale, but fits perfectly with 176. There's not much difference in it, actually. So, uh, down here, we've got the scene of a James Bryant breakdown. The solo cab unit here has uh, broke down, and we've got the van here come to rescue it. Although, in the midst of trying to rescue it, they've gone into the pub for a pint, crafty pint, and then leaving the Stobart Depot, we've got WS pulling the Stobart trailer, and then we've got Molly Ann leaving in convoy. Going in, we've got one, I think it's Phoebe Grace model, the one I still left as that name, pulling a fridge trailer, it looks quite nice pulling a fridge trailer. Then over here, uh, Stobart Maintenance are at a Stobart Group Biomass Lorry. And then over there in the pile, we've got what was in the, my last model review, which was Charlotte, the 150 scale tanker, now being released by Corgi. So guys, that concludes another model loft episode, a short and sweet one this time because not much happened. Uh, I know there's a few additions but I haven't really got much else to show you this time. Uh, thank you very much for watching the channel, hope you're liking the model loft series so far. It will be back in the new year, which is of course a day away, or less than, because this is going up on New Year's Eve. So. I'll be back as soon as I've got more stuff on here. Uh, until then, do keep looking back on my older videos. And I'm, of course, I am hoping to get my car back soon so I can start my stable spotting videos and that again. Because I know how much some of you enjoy those. So thank you very much for uh, watching and liking the channel. I think we've now passed the 810 subscriber mark. So wow, thank you, an extra 10 subscribers over Christmas, that's a big wow wow. <laughs> uh, I'll be back soon with more videos and etc and yeah, bye guys.